Okay, Ray, this video's for you. This is cold, ice cold. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to go back to my Testplex server with a public domain media and play around with making my file name slightly non-compliant like yours. So let me do the bottom three movies. Uh, what am I doing here? And let me just put a space in there. Okay, if you watch the other video, you'll see, or you'll remember that they all had good posters for them, and this test server had survived the latest Plex update. All right, we'll get all these subtitles too. All right, so my Plex server, this test one, should already be rescanning. Um, Opened off screen. Yeah, because it detected the changes I made to the file names. And that's how I've got this server set up to do it. I can't do it with my Unraid NUC pointing back to my newer Synology NAS because it's, the files aren't local to the Plex server. All right, so we'll go the long way around to get to my library. Whoops, wrong server. Let's change to the test server. Okay, so Plex occasionally rescans. I think this is a different poster. I can't remember. But let's rescan the whole library, but let's see what's going on. So we're detecting credits so we can rescan. Yeah, I think a lot of posters changed. I don't remember this being the pot of gold poster. Well, not a lot. I re only renamed two movies, but let's see. It's the bottom two. Which ones were they? Bottom three, Royal Wedding, The Brain That Wouldn't Die, and The Hitchhiker. Well, that doesn't quite match up, but... These posters are different. All right, so now let's refresh metadata. Well, the posters still haven't changed. And I still have the choices, but I know I had picked this as the original poster. Well, the name change of the file would have caused it to scan in fresh, probably. We'll refresh metadata there, and it stays. Yeah, so your slight... Um, Deviation from Plex's naming um, guide is not accounting for what you're seeing, but this is a small sample. This is only seven movies. Um, maybe if I had 7,000 movies, maybe 10% of them would lose the poster. I just don't know. I guess the only thing you can do is run this test by bringing a couple of those into compliance and scanning again, refreshing metadata, and let me know what happens. Um, you can even run the Plex dance. If nothing happens after you adjust those file names and rescan and refresh metadata, you can do the Plex dance, which would just be temporarily removing a couple movies from the folder structure. I'll just 
put them here where they're not being scanned by anything. And naturally, this server rescans automatically when it detects changes. If yours doesn't rescan, then you go into these options and empty the trash. Then you go into your settings under troubleshooting and you clean bundles. So let me go back to the library so I can get there quickly. And then you deposit the media back where it belongs. And then you scan again. And again, this library scans automatically with the changes. And they pop back in. So I don't really know why you lost your posters, but I always want to look at naming first. And yours looked really good besides that little adjustment I'd like to see. And if you've never used FileBot, I've got longer FileBot tutorial videos um, that show you how to set up these custom expressions that I use. So this one names the TMDB and creates the necessary structure. And it's, it's a long expression. So this part creates the folder structure, naming from TMDB for the source ID. And then this part creates the proper file name. And then this next part looks for common keywords that would indicate the movie is a special edition and applies that properly. And then you'll see I threw in the, the space dash space here before sending the formula that determines the video format, the video codec, the audio format, the audio codec. Then the developer of FileBot helped me out. I want to put into brackets, whether it's an English sub or a um, undetermined sub. And that way, if I'm scanning I don't know, 10 seasons of a TV show and three seasons didn't have the English subtitle properly flagged. Those will get renamed with the UND sub marker. And that way I know I'll have to manually open everything up in MKV tool mix to fix those flags. So they're marked as English subtitles. Then I can run one more pass of FileBot to get it correct. And then the, the SUBT formula renames external subtitles. So it seems like a long formula, but it works. Okay, so that's about it. This is your own video. And let me know if making that small adjustment and a rescan brings the poster back in. If it doesn't, do the Plex dance and see what happens. Um, Past that, I'm kind of stumped. I want to go in and look at all your library settings and kind of see how this compares with a default brand new Plex buoy um, setting. And I would assume that you haven't found any reason to play with the agent settings. I don't touch a thing under agents and I really don't do anything in, I was just there, I don't really do anything in the movie library besides change the the number of posters that, um, I'm sorry, the number of movies it takes for Plex to build an automatic collection. I always set that for two in every movie library. So let me know. I'm not quite so sure what's going on with you now, but maybe a little bit more back and forth we can figure it out. Thanks for watching.